Listen uh, to the first person in that video. Kadijat is a representative of uh, UNICEF at that particular event, uh, the Spotlight Initiative Nigeria. It was a four-day media dialogue with uh, media practitioners, and of course, uh, we, we learned quite a lot. I, I can't begin to reel out some of the lessons that was learned uh, from that uh, event, from that training, from that workshop. We were able to learn how to report the stories, what time to report the stories, and also to look at various ways these stories can be handled. There are so many things that happen to us here in Lagos. I mean, um, it was said that one out of every, one out of every 10 women has experienced abuse at one time or the other, whether as a child, as a girl child, as a boy child or as a full grown woman and this is um, ending violence against women and girls if we must do this together as a society everyone must be involved and the media must also do their part let's listen to Khadija and of course uh, we're back in the studio National Orientation Agency working with uh, Spotlight Initiative I've done so much in the state in the two focal local governments of the state which are Ikurudu local government and Yaba LCDA which covers the Lagos mainland local government. We've uh, done since 2020 where we commenced with community dialogue sessions in some of the communities of the two local governments. I think we've, we've up till now we've done almost about 20 community dialogue sessions in each of the local governments. And these community dialogue sessions comprises of critical stakeholders who have interest, you know, in the fight against violence against women and girls. Uh, obvious, you know, the, the records are, it, it's humongous, the, the proportion of women who are at risk. Um, one in nine women in Nigeria are at risk of uh, one form of violence or the other. One in four girls in Nigeria experience sexual uh, violence. And then uh, um, boys are also exposed to this. But when you look at the, 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 the ratio of one in nine and one in four of the girls, and this is just based on you know, data that we have coming in through the CPIMS. If we were to have everybody report the cases of violence, we probably are at one in three girls or one in two girls. So the data in itself already speaks to the importance of it. Um, what has happened during the COVID-19 lockdown is that it became, it allowed us to shine a light and to see an escalation of the proportional level of violence against women and girls in the country, actually across the world, in other places where um, violence is also an issue and is being uh, uh, addressed. The Ministry of Youth and Social Development Child Protection Unit, if you follow what they tell you, if you let them know about the case, there's nothing long there. It's not long. So people should stop jungle justice. People should stop it because you are taking law into your hands. If you now decide to beat somebody or harass somebody or kill somebody, then you also become a, a criminal and the state must also address your case.